and welcome to today's video discussing Flemish painter Clara Peters 1611 Still Life with Flowers, Silver Gilt Goblet, Dried Fruit, Sweet Meats, Breadsticks, Wine, and, you guessed it, a pewter pitcher. This mouthful of a title was painted with oil on wood panel and is believed to have been completed in Antwerp, Belgium. During this time, Antwerp was located in the Flanders Kingdom and was under the direct authority of the Spanish crown. Falling under the category of a still life, meaning the central figures of the work are objects of value compared to a portrait that would make a human figure the central subject. As seen from the image and title, the table is brimming with delectable foods, goods, and accompanied by a bouquet of flowers that is placed in an adorned vase. A pewter pitcher and glass of wine sit in the background. All objects would have been imported and depicted unquestionable wealth and status. Casually, they are placed randomly across the table, as if someone just stepped out of frame from a bit of nibbling at their own kitchen. This concept is called illusionism, a thematic tool used by artists to resemble objects as real tangible objects through the use of space, perspective, or in this case, making the image as realistic in style and context as possible. In the illusionist manner, Peters includes a wine glass. The Museo del Prado in Madrid, where this work currently sits, Within the description of this painting, Museo del Prado states, painting reflections was a challenge to artists that was part artistic tradition and was recorded in the literature. The shiny, mirroring surfaces that we see in this painting demonstrate that Peters enthusiastically accepted this challenge. So images of mirrors, water, reflective surfaces are not simply what they appear, but represent great skill on the part of the artist herself. At the center of the painting is a silver gilt goblet protected by a brave little soldier sitting atop. The treasures abound on the table. Not only is the goblet glorious in its detail, but reflective of the world around it. Similar to the showcase of the wine, Peters cleverly incorporates her reflection as a small portrait within the goblet, once again showcasing her ability to capture accurate perspective by using illusionism as a means to undeniably cite the work as her own. If we look at the pewter picture, her portrait appears yet again accompanied by a window peering out to a snow-covered lawn. As a woman painter in 1611, including a portrait shows her agency to mark the work as her own. Along with signing the piece, she unequivocally identifies herself as the artist responsible in a way that could never be removed without causing severe damage to the painting. A diverse bouquet of flowers is delicately portrayed in various stages of life on the left-hand side of the painting. Peters uses another common thematic tool referred to as the Vanitas theme. Quoting the Museo del Prado again, Vanitas is a symbolic work of art showing the transcendence of life, the fertility of pleasure, and the certainty of death, often contrasting symbols of wealth with symbols of ephemerality and death. A common form of this would be flowers and perishable foods, as seen here. As a comparison, I am showing this still life, completed by Spanish painter Juan van der Hemen Leon, excuse the pronunciation, in 1627. This piece includes nearly identical flower choice and style and incorporations of vanitas as Peter's does. This is also done in another Van der and Leon's works, Still Life with Baskets and Sweetmeats. As mentioned earlier, Antwerp during this time was under the authority of the Spanish crown. Antwerp was a prime center of art production, and it is quite believable that Spanish artists would have been highly influenced. In the case of Peters, seeing her style replicated across country lines illuminates her talent and shrewd ability to place herself and her artwork at the pinnacle of Europe's artistic trends and cement herself as an influential and remembered artist. This painting encapsulated that agency and awareness Claire Peters made of her surroundings despite notable sexist tendencies rampant within the era. Her use of illusionism, vanitas, and perspective firmly establish her as an influential artist capable of genius level craftsmanship. I hope you were able to enjoy this video and learn a little bit more about still lifes and that there's a little more than meets the eye. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day.